Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about classes versus objects. And my battery light is blinking, almost dead. So I'm gonna try to get this information to you pretty quickly. So we'll focus on the essentials. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So what is a class? Consider a class a blueprint. I like to think of it as a cookie cutter. When you take a cookie cutter, you can create numerous cookies with that cookie cutter. That's what a class is. The cookies that we create are known as objects. So it looks a little something like this. So we have one class. Each one of these is known as an object. This will be the cookie cutter. These will be the cookies. Now this process of going from a class and creating an object, that's known as instantiation. And that is a really good word just to use at parties, impress your friends and the ladies and so forth. So instantiation. These are also known as an instance of this class. So you might hear object, you might hear instance of a class or some variations of this thing. In the context of people, if we wanted to basically structure people or users, this would be a person, class, which is very general. A person, that's not a specific individual. These are the individuals. So we might have Caleb, we might have Sally, and we might have Janelle. These are individuals. You know, people have things in common. They usually have a name, they can walk, they can talk, etc. So we can generalize what a person is in this class and we can define the specifics for the individual over here in the object. So hopefully that's a good introduction to what the difference between a class and an object is. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about a very essential thing for classes and that is fields. So check it out and be sure to subscribe.